Evan, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm here with Evan Inada from Columbus Craft Meats. Uh, Evan, there's a couple things that have been happening here with Columbus I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, first, we've got a, a new product uh, offering out there, and then we're going to do another video. It's almost a two-part series of sorts, uh, yeah. talking just a little bit about what Columbus has been up to lately, how uh, Columbus has been uh, surviving through the pandemic and things like that. So for this first video, let's talk about the uh, charcuterie kits out there. Give me a brief uh what is this product kind of uh, synopsis? What, what, what is this bringing to the market from Columbus? Yeah, thanks Andy for having us on. And what I'm really excited about is these charcuterie collections that we've built. So really what we're doing is we're building the perfect charcuterie kits for any occasion. Uh, we, but we really wanna build it towards gift giving through the holidays. Um, Corporate's fine, but friends and family, this is the perfect thing for anybody that loves food because we're really just giving them everything that they need to build their perfect charcuterie board at home. So the charcuterie trend is just huge right now. It's increasing every single year as we go. And really what people want to know now, not how do you pronounce charcuterie? What is charcuterie? There's still some of those people that want that, but how do I build charcuterie? How do I make this look so pretty? Like I see it on the social media outlets everywhere. How do I make a beautiful charcuterie board like that? Because I have no clue what to do when I get to the supermarkets and stores to make my purchases myself. So really what we did here is we just built three perfect kits for every kind of level of charcuterie lover um, to really just create something that, that everybody can enjoy really. So, yeah. So in terms of the development of the, of the kits, did you guys have to do some really heavy lifting or is it mostly just re uh, purposing, repackaging the great products you have and uh, what kind of uh, gap do they fill in the marketplace? If any, you know, are you just, offering them because there's nothing like it out there? Or is it just that there was nothing of Columbus's uh, ilk out there? Yeah. Well, in terms of the heavy lifting, for me, the fun part of the heavy lifting was the research of taste testing everything that goes together on these charcuterie kits. We really wanted to make sure flavor-wise, it tied to our philosophy on how to build a perfect charcuterie board around flavor and the perfect bite. So that's really what we are focused on here in these kits. And we pulled in all these artists and partners that we thought matched perfectly with our products, not only in the terms of the look and the, the type of products that they're being presented, like in how their artists and people make and create the crackers and the olives and everything else involved. But also we wanna make sure that every one of these items that we include in the kits accentuate the flavor of everything else in the kit to make it just perfect harmony on the board. So um, that's really the thought process behind building it. And the gap that it fills is really, it's in twofold, especially during the COVID times where people aren't spending as much time in the marketplace or not getting that face-to-face -face interaction with their cheesemonger or deli specialist at the store itself. This is like kind of the one-on-one -on -one kits that we're building to give them that education. So in every one of the three kits that we have, we have these beautiful kind of uh, cell sheets that are not only showing the perfect way to lay out everything that you're seeing in this kit, but also the flavors in all the different aspects of the product itself. So once they build the kit, that person could host a party and be able to talk perfectly to all the different items on the board, as well as building that perfect bite. So focusing on the combination of brie and salami and jam, for example, to really highlight that perfect sweet and creamy uh, charcuterie bite is just that ideal way to really just grow the education around charcuterie. I think a lot of people are intimidated by the fact of seeing charcuterie on a board, like, oh man, how do I make something so beautiful? But when you break it down into the easy little tips that we're building on these pages, it's really just growing that uh, knowledge of the category. So then when they do make it into the marketplace, they could just quickly shop for their go-to stuff that they got in the kit and know that that's the perfect place to start when building their charcuterie at home. So that's, I think, filling in a lot of different fun gaps for us. Yeah, I recognize that map of Italy from when I visited. Yeah. He walked me through it, so yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. always good to see that uh, map of Italy uh, getting a new life. So, what yeah. what makes these uh, this these kits different, maybe from some of the other Columbus offerings that are out there? Uh, what what's the biggest difference? You know, I think the the biggest difference 
in terms of for us is we're still using a lot of our key items, our, our best items that people love to have build charcuterie with, but we're adding those complementary items like olives and cheeses into the kit to really just build that perfect experience so that they don't have to do any shopping. They don't have to do any work. The only things that they have to pick up are fresh fruits and like the little specialty wow factor items that really kind of show the eater's own personality. But in terms of what we're able to add, I think it makes it a much more complete package by adding all these artisan partners into the kit as well. So that's, that's really fun experience for us because we're not gonna necessarily co-pack and put our name on all these different brands because all these artisan makers do it way better than we can. We're focused on making the best salami in the marketplace. And that's what we're focused on. So really bringing in these perfect cheese partners and cracker partners is just the ideal uh, way to fit everybody in. Well, and you get to use their name in the kits, correct? So you get exactly. to build off of their brand, uh, exactly. their brand uh, uh, popularity, if you will. Exactly. And, and, it, and it builds the credibility too. It's not just, oh, Columbus, we're just showing you everything that we have. We're building an experience and a fun experience in every single one of these kits. So the beginner's kit, the 101 kit's really that simple kit that has three salamis to focus on the flavor around and two cheeses. And then having that charcuterie board, because they're a beginner, they might not have the perfect platform for it. So having that charcuterie board in the box itself is that way where you have everything you need to learn and experience how to build a charcuterie board. And then once you're ready for that, and once you understand that, we have the, the entertaining charcuterie kit, which is really built for that big entertainer, the people that love food as much as we do. And we have enough products in there to build a full grazing table for one event, or you could build three, four little personal charcuterie experiences using the perfect bite methods that we're building on the backs of the little cell sheets, explaining them how to build charcuterie and really giving them like a month long ex experience as a gift instead of just that one quick hitter. So memorable experience is really what we're focused on. And then to kind of top the cake on that, we have our Felino. So our Felino box is, this is the king of salamis in Italy. The Felino, it comes from Parma region, of Italy. And it's really, it's, we still dry cure it in our, uh, the natural Colari casing. So the very traditional casings, all the traditional Italian methods that really make this product shine. And just like any high-end wine or high-end uh, whiskey, it needs to have its own box. So we put it in a little Felino box with a cell sheet as well, getting people to understand how, how great Felino is. It really, how the perfect items to pick on your little board to accentuate the flavor of the Felino itself. So I think we're, we really put together three fun packages that are perfect for any, any time for the holiday season.